Hey there, Laura here. Today I am back from my holiday and I thought I'd share with you what I took with me and what I bought while I was away. I didn't buy that much except for one category where I brought and, and I can't even, I don't even have the words for how many I brought, but I will show you later. So I thought, first of all, I would show you what I actually took with me and show you how I did my makeup while I was over there. And we were staying next to the beach, but we were also staying right next to shops. So you could be as dressy or as casual as you wanted really, which was quite nice. So the brushes that I took with me, I took my powder brush and I brought um, the Thin Lizzy brush for spreading out my foundation, which I didn't actually use at all because of the type of foundation I took. And I brought these brushes here and my tweezers. But I came back with the brushes I took and all these other ones. <laughs> So I brought some brushes while I was there. So um, the ones with the sort of leopard print on it, I got four of those. It was a set, and I got those from Sports Girl. So, so that was the crease brush, the powder brush, all over shadow brush, highlighter brush, and the foundation brush. These are really, really soft and. I, I used them while I was away and I really enjoyed them. The other thing I got was from Essence is one of these um, like rubber hard silicone type little brushes. So I, take, I haven't opened it yet, so I'll open it. it and they're for um, glitter and pigment application and things. And I haven't seen these in store where I am, so when I saw one, I thought I'd get one to give it a go because especially in one of my palettes it's a focal law one I had a lot of trouble picking up the shimmer shadow so I thought that might be useful I also got two more of my BYS flat brushes because these ones are my favorite flat brush for putting stuff on the lid and they just never stock them again after I brought one and decided I really liked it. They've never had them in store in here again. And they've got a shop over where we were that sells tons of BYS stuff. So I got two of those, the last two that were on the shelf. And I also brought from Models Prefer this brush here, which has kind of a tapered top, which I've been looking for for a while, but I haven't found in store where I am. And it's perfect for fitting in your crease and blending out. And I used it a few times and decided I really, really liked it. And so I ended up buying two more. So I've got three of those now. And I've got three of my favourite BYS flat brushes. So I brought tons and tons of brushes. Now the other things I took with me. I'm going to take this makeup case here with my everyday makeup in and in this case here with palettes and things and so I brought mostly my project pan stuff so instead of just showing you one thing at a time I'll show you how I used it now I, for primers I took my elf hydrating face primer and I this was a brand new bottle so I hadn't used it yet when I took it over there and I took my the body shop energizing mandarin facial spray when I opened my hydrating primer it smelled a bit funky it came out a bit weird at the beginning and then it came out properly after that but it still smelled a bit funny and every time I used it, I, my face broke out. And so I stopped using that. I only used it about three times. So I think I'm just going to declutter that because I think it's gone off. And so I ended up just spraying my face with my facial water. Now I took mostly my Project Pan stuff, but I did not take my foundations because there were two of them. And I just 
liquid and messy and I just decided not to do that and I took my Maybelline Dream Cushion foundation instead so that's what I used I took one sponge with me which is this one here which I'm not going to use I'm going to use a, a clean one I did clean that one while I was away but it's dirty at the moment so I just used my cushion foundation and put my sponge in there and I'm not getting that much out of there now because I've been using it. I'm actually going to need to turn my sponge over because it's not coming out. I was watching Wayne Goss the other day. He was saying if you've got one of these kind of packaging for a sponge foundation, when you've finished, instead of throwing them out, wash them out and then put any foundation that you want to use in there and I thought that was a great idea especially for traveling instead of buying a special one just put in the foundation that you actually want to use so that's that works better once I turn the sponge around so I turned the sponge inside around so I could actually get some on my face so I, I always put my sunscreen on of course I took all my well I didn't take all my skincare I took the minimum I could get away with, and when I say a minimum, I'm not a light packer at all. <laughs> so it was my minimum, which was still plenty. So I took my skincare, but um, I'm not going to show that because it's not that interesting. <laughs> so I put my foundation on, and then I my concealers with me and put that on. Actually I did my brows first normally but I forgot <laughs> so I'll have to do those next. And I did my brows and for my brows I took Girl brow pencil and I took my Australis, is that no? My, my, my Milani, sorry. I took my Milani brow, Stayport brow colour and I took my brow artist plumper from L'Oreal. I think I used this one once so I didn't actually need to take that. I could have left that behind. my Milani eyeshadow primer with me I also took my Australis first base primer serum for my mascara and this was totally unnecessary it was just there so I chucked it in the bag and so after I'd done my base and my eyebrows, I did my eyes, and I took I took my Beauty 101 palette, which is my project pen, and I also took my Nudes 4 BYS palette, which is also in my project pen. figured out what kind of eye look I wanted to do and then I do my eye look so I'll do that. I took my LA Colors Jumbo pencil with me so I took a little crease brush just so I could blend things out in the crease is the one I took. Um, all the brushes in it that I'm using are the ones that I took with me just so I can show you how I did things. And I'm using 
using my Beauty 101 palette. Just the green out there. I didn't take this jersey with me, it's just that after being in the Gold Coast where it's warm, it's cold at home. So <laughs> I'm wearing my big thick jersey. And then I just use the same brush and go into a darker green. I used all different colours. I'll put in some of the looks that I did. I took some photos of them. But the lighting's not great because I only had like sunlight to take the photo in and um, it seemed to wash out a lot of the colour because it was just too bright and sunny. <laughs> Use my little highlighter brush and go in with the, the light green. And I'm going to go in with this brown here, just a little bit, with that same crease brush that I used earlier. I just want to deepen that bit up and blend the top of those colours. And I'll go back into the BYS palette and get that other brown and just make sure I've got a nice smooth transition. The cream, it's quite a dark cream, this one. So I'm just going to blend that up as well. I'm just blending all those colours together. And I brought quite a few eyeliners with me. I'm not going to use them all today, obviously, but I'll show you what I took with me. So I took a brown eyeliner and a black eyeliner and a liquid black eyeliner. I got a dark blue and a light blue LA Girl Glide On Gel Pencil. And I also took two new things that I hadn't tried before, and it was the Wanda 2 High Tech Beauty Super Stay Liner. One in Glitter Emerald and one in Glitter Bronze. So I brought these here, but I hadn't tried them, so I took them with me. And um, when I swatched them, they were amazing because they didn't go anywhere. And so I was using those as well, and I actually really enjoyed them. So they're both glittery kind of colours, if you can see that. And I really enjoyed both of those eyeliners. And I'm going to use one today. I'm going to use the Glitter Bronze one. And I used it so much that it actually needs sharpening. They're quite, they're nice and soft, but once they dry, they stay where you put them, which I really like. And I'm going to tight line with my black. Go in with this colour here. And a little pointy brush. And I'm just going to go over that from the eyeliner. I'm going to go in with the Emerald Glitter Eyeliner and just put that on the very outer corner. Just to deepen up those little outer corners. And I'm going to go in with the Tealy shade there and put that over that liner. Then I'm going to go into this dark dark green here and another brush that I took with me which is more of a kind of a detailed little brush and just darken that up but out of the and then I put my foundation on first this time but normally I would be putting it on now. So I've already got my foundation on and then I would powder and for powder I took my Fit Me 
Maybelline Set and Smooth. And I also took my Revolution Lace Powder. And I do my usual where I just put a little bit on top of the press powder. Got my powder brush. And just swirl it around and set my makeup a bit. And then I didn't take a contour brush because I forgot. So I was just using my um, bronzer brush for that. And I also took my OXX Studio palette, face palette with me. So I'm use the, the contour out of there. Should do some soft contouring. And then I'd use the bronzer out of there as well. The highlighter brush and highlight with a bit of the highlighter over there. And then I'd go back into my beauty 101 to use the blush because I wanted to pan that. So since I was working on it, I just and I had the palette with me, I just carried on. So pink blush. <laughs> so I put my Rimmel Insta Fix and Glow because you can use this before or after makeup. So this is the one I took with me. They blended, no harsh lines. I took my Wet n Wild two step mascara with me, and I also brought my Maybelline waterproof with me. So, depending on what I, what I was going to be doing that day, depended on which one I used. I used this one most of the time because it wasn't that hot that I actually went swimming. <laughs> And then because that um, highlighter isn't very highlightery to me, it's very subtle, I'd go into the cream out of here and just add a little pop more and under my brow bone. And then for my lips, I took two lipsticks and a lip gloss. Guthrie Ranker Lip Tint Pink Champagne with me for when I was wearing lots of pink. And I took my Rimmel Stay Liquid Lip Colour Stay Matte in Be My Baby, which is in my project pan. And I also brought my L'Oreal lip gloss, which is also in my project pan. So things that I didn't use much, or not at all. <laughs> I think I used, I brought a pink lip liner. This is a L'Oreal and Pink Fever to go with the pink lipstick, and I used it once. I took my colour correcting thing, and I didn't use it at all. I just kept forgetting it was there, so I didn't need to take that. I did use my glitter glue a couple of times, but not with the stuff that I brought with me, with something that I brought while I was over there. I did use my pencil sharpener as well. I'm going to put my gloss on top of my liquid lipstick, now it's dry. And then I'd throw some cute earrings on and that would be basically my go to looks with various different colours mixed with the brown because my um, pen and my palettes have quite a few browns in them and I need to use them. <laughs> so, um, so there are those swatches that have dried now and I'll just show you how I'm rubbing it quite hard and it's not coming off. So 
once they're on, they stay on really well because there's no way I'd rub that hard on my eyes anyway. Random because I wish I haven't used for days. <laughs> always, always got glitter on me. <laughs> so that is all the things that I took with me that I used. Now there were some things that I brought while I was over there that I used. So when I went to the Beware store I got a highlighter which is the diamond highlighter. It's called Energy. It's very blingy. And I will show you. So you don't need much of this. You can see how more blingy that is compared to what I already had on my face. So I was missing my highlighter and I saw that one it was really pretty so I bought that. The other thing I brought was some um, from Inklot, some Duraline. Um, and you know I haven't used this much really. I managed to drop it on the ground with the lid off and I lost half the bottle. So I used it a few times and um, lost the rest of the floor. <laughs> but I wanted that for trying out with pigments and things to mix together and um, for they're supposed to be really good for reviving super shock shadows and things that have gone dry. Since I've got some of those I thought I'd get some because I can't get that here though I could get it online. But So that was a new product and I got two new palettes. I only got two new palettes. So in the BYS store I got the Prism palette, the Prismatic palette, sorry. Looks like this. So what it looks like and I did use it while I was away because I wanted a bit of extra sparkle and glitter. It's a cream palette. It is not Right. And it feels very weird. It's a very soft cream palette. Some of them are quite sheer, but they're all very glittery. I don't know how glittery it'll show up on okay. camera, but they're all very glittery and sparkly and pretty. And a lot of them are kind of like toppers, so I just put a little bit of glitter glue, or I was using the ink lot draw line, put a bit on my eyelid, and then just tap it on to hold it with the eyeshadow underneath and tissue. And um, so I enjoy Kagan that it's but it, it it is a weird formula. I haven't quite encountered anything quite like it before. And I found if I used it without a glitter glue or something, I'd end up with sparkles all over my face. So it definitely needs something to help stick it on. And the other palette I brought was a sports girl beauty one. I've never seen sports girl makeup before so it's actually Sports Girl, it's like a clothing store and they had makeup in there so I was like, oh, something new. <laughs> so I brought this one and this is called Red Hot, which might give you a clue on what's inside. So it's lots of reds and I brought this for this shade down here because this was just too gorgeous for me. So it's a, a red gold kind of shifting shadow. And it reminded me of the one in the red Colourpop Main Squeeze palette. But it's much more red. That one I'm sure is more gold and I'm going to test it out. So here's the Main Squeeze one. So I thought it was kind of like this one. But I think this one's a lot more orange and goldy and this one's a lot more red. I don't know if that'll show up on camera. Yeah, it does. So they were different enough, but they are similar palettes because 
they have the same kind of colours, but I thought they'd go quite well together because this one's got some much sort of pinky reds as well as the orange reds that will go with this, but none of them are direct kind of dupes to each other. They're all a little bit different. So that's the only two palettes I got, which was surprising because one place that I went to, well actually two places that I went to, had a Sephora Australia and they had the Australia Mecca stores, which I've never been in either of those before. And I went in and saw all the makeup that I've never seen in person before, like um, Too Faced and Natasha Denona and what else do they have? You know, all those kind of brands that I see online all the time that people are always talking about, but I never actually have seen it in person. And I went in both of those, in both, places so and I didn't buy anything <laughs> I didn't buy anything at all which was surprising to me because I thought I would but I what I ended up doing was buying something completely different that I'd never seen before because that was way more exciting to me than buying something that I had seen before I've just realized there was one more palette that I brought because it was a sports girl one as well I have to go get that I think it's still in my bag I haven't finished my packing yet Hang on a sec. So I also got the Wednesday palette. Which I have not opened at all, so it's still got the plastic on it. But it looks really pretty. And um, it's got everything is prettier when it's pink, it says on it. I can take the plastic off it, maybe. Show you. So to me, seeing something completely new and I hadn't seen before was way more exciting than going in and seeing stuff I had seen before, even if I hadn't seen it in person. So that was interesting. I did see the Natasha Denona, is it the Sunset palette, the new one, um, in there, and it was pretty. It was smaller than I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was bigger. On, on, on camera it, it always looked bigger. <laughs> and it was pretty, but I didn't have any desire to buy it because I've already seen it lots and I've got lots of those colours anyway. So uh, probably that was the only one in store that I was really interested in. And I think part of the reason as well is because we're so far away from everything. When they import stuff in, like the Too Faced or you know, the Natasha Denona ones or, or whatever it is. They they still do a lot of the basic stuff. That's why I was surprised to see the Sunset palette in there because they didn't really have much else from Natasha Denona there. And the Too Faced were, were all of the sort of neutral looking stuff. They weren't the in, interesting coloured stuff or anything. So that's what I found with with all the brands. They, they had your basic range and neutrals and things but there wasn't a lot of color in there so when I saw those palettes from Sports World it was like color and I was going yes I'll try those and so far from what I've tried because I have used the red palette a bit I haven't used the Wednesday palette at all um, but what I have tried has been really good so I'm looking forward to digging into those and having a go with those a bit more so that was the makeup items that I took and the stuff that I brought while I was over there so I didn't buy a lot of makeup mostly brushes and some of them were pre-planned in terms of like these ones I definitely wanted to buy I bought two clothing items um, both jerseys funnily <laughs> enough because um, they're both colors that I've been looking for in a jersey for a while and haven't seen them and I saw them and they were on a really good deal so I bought them So I just got a brown jersey. And a mustard cardigan. So a mustard coloured cardigan. Which I have been wearing today. So nothing too flash. And then we get to the stuff that I did buy a lot of. Now let me explain. <laughs> I um 
we don't have any like costume jewellery stores where I live. There used to be one in Napier, which was about an hour away from where I live, and they closed down a couple of years ago. So there's very little choice to go in and look at, and it all's pretty much the same. So um, when I went to the mall over there, they had a costume jewellery store, and I brought lots and lots of earrings. <laughs> So that's what I brought lots of. I, I brought so many, I don't even know how many I brought. So it's La Visa is the brand name. That's the name of the store. And so that, that's one of the packs that I brought. There are too many to show you individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread them out and then do a shot of them so you can see all the ones that I bought because I went a bit crazy. <laughs> so here's my crazy earring haul. A couple of them I did get from somewhere else. So I got these ones from Cotton On and these ones were from a little store. They're very, very cute. They've got a tree butterflies in them. And these ones I got from Tree of Life as well as necklace but all the rest were from the same store and I was looking for some red ones and some yellow ones because I haven't been able to find anything much here and they had lots of specials where it was buy five for twelve dollars so <laughs> every time we went in there I brought five for twelve dollars <laughs> so that's what I spent most of my money on and had an absolute ball doing it so we had a great time in on the Gold Coast. We stayed in Kulagata and saw Paul's mum and dad while we were there because they invited us over. And my oldest came from Auckland and spent time with us as well. So we all had a family holiday together and I really enjoyed the warmer weather. Came home to rain and grey and cold. And <laughs> while, while we were away, we were having some work done on the kitchen, which they're coming back tomorrow to do painting, but there's plaster dust everywhere. <laughs> so I, I've spent the morning cleaning at home and wishing myself back in the Gold Coast. <laughs> so, but I have missed filming and I've missed connecting with you all. Even though I was still on YouTube, as in I had a few things pre filmed and I was still watching videos and, and commenting on them. It didn't feel the same as when you're filming and putting stuff out because it's more of a connection on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel. So I did miss coming on YouTube and seeing, well, I don't see you all, but it feels like I see you all when, <laughs> when the comments are, are relevant to the time you're posting, if you get what I mean. If you're not a creator, you probably don't get what I mean. <laughs> Um, I had a great time and we're back home now so we'll get settled back in and um, get some more videos up and I will do some videos on some on the new palettes that I brought and I've got a few collabs sort of in the background that I haven't quite organised because I was waiting until I come back so I'll get those organised and things and now I'm just rambling I don't know why. <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye.